Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I have a lasagna recipe for you. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna start with using, adding two tablespoons of oil. You may add less than that. And a tablespoon of butter. And after that, you're gonna go ahead and add your vegetables. I'm using mushroom, yellow onion, red bell pepper, and garlic. Go ahead and add it to the hot oil. This is an authentic lasagna recipe, okay? And I think all Italians would be really, really proud of me. So once you've added your vegetable, you give it a little stir and add some salt to sweat it out. Get the moisture out. And if you have not, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. And once you've added the uh, vegetable, you're gonna go ahead and add the meat. I'm using one pound of beef, ground beef and five sweet Italian sausages. So go ahead and make, break, it, break the meat into little pieces because you don't want any big pieces. You want it to be really small pieces. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and season it. I'm using this chicken bouillon and this all-purpose chicken. And if you don't know, this is my favorite all-purpose chicken seasoning. It's the best. And I'm using some oregano leaves and bay leaves, of course lots of it because it's bomb and of course Italian seasoning what's lasagna without Italian seasoning come on give it a quick stir chop 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 and then we're gonna go ahead and add the red wine I am using 16 ounces of red wine it doesn't have to be expensive wine just any cheap wine I think that butter was like uh, $7.99 um, yeah and I am using make sure it's dry it must not be sweet and of course, some freshly ground black pepper. So I'm gonna go, for, go ahead and cover it and let it simmer a little bit. And after that, for about 10 minutes, after it's simmered, you're gonna go ahead and add the pasta sauce. I'm using marinara sauce, 72 ounces. The light goes to three jars of that. And of course, you gotta add some water to it because there was two more in the jar. Add some water and shake it and get the rest of it out. added the sauces you go ahead and add some extra bay leaves again I'm using three bay you may add three or five bay leaves so you gotta let it simmer for two hours if it doesn't simmer for two hours then I don't know you're not making lasagna Italian will be really angry with you and you see that oil on top remove the, all that because the meat was 80 20 so it was 8% lean so it had a lot of fat and if it doesn't have a lot of fat honestly it's not gonna be as tasty so just remove the excess oil before you go ahead and add it to the pan. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the cheese filling. So I'm using ricotta cheese. Make sure you use whole milk, ricotta cheese. I made the mistake, I bought one, well the big jar, thank God, was whole milk and the smaller one was freaking fat free. That's one thing I don't do. I do not do fat free. I like mashing all the fat. And of course I'm using some Parmesan cheese. Like this is the real stuff. Make sure, do not use the stuff in the green bottle because it's not real. It's, I don't know what the hell it is, but it's not, don't use it please. And of course, two cups of that, it's the best, that's the real Parmesan cheese. And go ahead and add two eggs. And just so you know, the eggs hold the cheeses together so it doesn't, you know, fall apart. Actually, I made three eggs, sorry. And after you added the cheese, the eggs, go ahead and season a little bit. So I added a little bit of garlic powder, some bay leaves, some Italian seasoning, just extra flavor, you know. You know, I'm Haitian. I like my stuff. I, I like my flavors, okay? I like my things tasty. That's another type of um, Italian seasoning, just a little bit of it. And then, of course, some freshly ground black pepper. If it's not freshly ground black pepper, I don't even bother using it because it has no taste, honestly. It's like, what's the point of using it? But hey, you do you. And then of course, some fresh parsley chopped. If you're not using parsley, I don't know. But hey, make sure you use that because you're trying to, this is the best lasagna recipe, okay? I'm telling you. Like I said, Italians will be really proud of me. It's gonna be amazing. So now go ahead and stir everything. Make sure everything is evenly stirred. Um, I am using this uh, sliced mozzarella, but you may use shredded mozzarella because it's better. But like I said, I don't like to use shredded cheeses because it doesn't have as much, it loses its moisture. So I, I'd rather that. But look at this beautiful ricotta cheese. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Makes my mouth eat. 
oh watery but yeah that's my pasta um remember to not overcook the pasta so I cooked my pasta for about five minutes because it's gonna be it's gonna be done when you put it in the oven so I spray my pan a little bit with this avocado oil spray and then you add some sauce to the bottom of the pan that yummy sauce see there's still a shot fat in there but it's fine I like the fat I go to the gym for like five hours and go ahead and add your first your um, first layer of pasta of the lasagna the noodles I meant excuse me make sure you place them properly okay I don't know if I'm placing it right but hey like I said I'm not a real chef I'm just a cook and then after you've added that you're gonna go ahead and add some of the ricotta cheese I add a good amount because I I don't know I don't want as much noodles I want more cheese in my lasagna and you know the meat the juices the cheese oh my goodness I'm just my mouth is just watering right now watching this and talking make sure you spread your ricotta cheese evenly and after that you add the mozzarella cheese like I said you may use shredded cheese it will be easier or you can just do that it's already sliced so you just you know cut it in little pieces and just put it all over you sprinkle it all over and after that you go ahead and add the sauce on top and don't forget to remove that bay leaf I forgot Nobody wants to buy into a bay leaf when you're eating lasagna. And then you go ahead and add another layer of noodle on top of the sauce again. So you're gonna repeat this process until your pan is like this, full. So I'm using a dip dish pan. Make sure you're using a dip dish pan, okay? And if not, just do only like two or three layers of, of noodles. Don't do too many because you're gonna have a mess. guys i would like to say thank you guys thank you so much i'm almost at 1000 subscribers and that's a really big deal um thank you very much and if you're watching right now and you have not subscribed please do so right now click on the red button and also click on the bell so you get the first notification when i upload a new video and so go ahead and after you add it to lasagna the last layer of noodles you go ahead and add some sauce on top on top 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 and then you go ahead and add mozzarella cheese on top. You add a little bit more sauce, okay? I was being a little stingy. I don't know why. But add a little bit more. Anyways, add some mozzarella cheese on top. And then add the rest of your parmesan cheese. So in total, as for parmesan cheese, you need about three, two cups and a half. So I, for the parmesan cheese on top, I am using this black cheese I'm not using the powdered one the grated one so I'm using the, I'm spreading my own on top of that so that's about two cups of parmesan cheese go ahead and spread it make sure everything is spread everything is even oh my goodness Ooh, look at this <laughs> wow wow anyways like I fucking did it again I did it again and thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do like it don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you didn't I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it so thank you have a good night a good day wherever you are whatever time you're watching anyways thank you very much